What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Blender is a powerful 3D animation software that allows creators to create all sorts of awesome stuff from short films, 3D models, and just some super mind-blowing work. Now, this past year, we've talked about some of the best of the best creators, and in this episode, we're gonna be reflecting on some of the top works from the top creators. Anyways, I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are in no way in order of importance. These creators are just the best of the best from this past year. And we figured it is a perfect time to talk about some of the most awesome creators from 2022 while we're moving into 2023. Anyways, I got the list right here. Let's hop right in. I definitely dropped my phone. Anyways, I got the list right here. Let's hop right in. First up at number 10, here we have an amazing short film from William Glandgren, who by the way, I think is only 15 or 16 years old. He brings us this short film called The Drink, in which this robot seemingly gets drunk in his pool and then goes on this quest to get another drink. What's really impressive about this is that this is 100% CGI using a combination of Blender, After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and Marvelous Designer. I'm just super blown away with how impressive this came out and it's super inspiring to see someone who is young in the community really pushing the rest of us forward. Next we have at number nine, this one is by Dizzy and Lizzie, and this is an awesome looking anime and Ghibli style right inside of Blender, which is freaking mind blowing because not only are these scenes beautifully crafted and rendered, but it's just even more impressive to realize that, hey, this is not a 2D animation at all. This is actually done in 3D and using a really impressive use of textures and compositing right within the software. I love how amazing this anime ocean came out and I love how beautifully created these season and geographic animations came out. I love your work a lot, Dizzy and Lizzie, and I hope to see more. Number eight on the list. Yo, okay, so this one is not animated, but I feel like I had to show you this render. If you guys are hungry, your mouths may be watering right now because the way that the attention to detail when it comes to materials and lighting in this render is just so impressive. This one is from Gregory and this ultra realistic render was created using Blender 3D and the Cycles render. Just take a look at the before and after. This right here is how it looks like in the 3D software with the modeling and just a little bit of the shading and lighting. But then once adding in those materials and really pushing the boundaries when it comes to those camera settings, how you can get those renders out nicely, it just brings this image to life and it invokes that feeling like, yo, I want to just pick up one of those lollipops and suck on it. Okay, you guys aren't going to catch me saying that. If you guys are curious just how dope Gregory is when it comes to ultra realistic renders. Take a look at this other mountain view that he did using Substance Painter and Gaia. They're two separate softwares, but he's able to render this using cycles in Blender and the results just look amazing. Coming up at number seven, here we have a couple renders from Hypha 3D who created this for a scrapped client work project. So unfortunately the client did not go through with this concept, but it definitely deserves to get shown because I think this is amazing and how you're able to bring these different scenes to life and keep that motion consistent with the subtle use of camera movement. I think this looks like a trailer for an awesome film and I'm super impressed with the world building that you did for this and the use of great compositions to really draw us in. This is an awesome and impressive use of Blender and I hope to see more of your work. Here we have at number six. Yo, okay, these renders are freaking mind blowing. These are created by at Sweeper3D on Instagram. And if you guys are curious, how does he make such detailed and amazing looking models that look almost either photorealistic or just on a whole nother level when it comes to their fantasy creations. He's actually using a combination of kit bashing elements and hand modeling certain sections piece by piece in a super meticulous manner to where he's really just working on really small sections and then building them out. I love the way that you have these great compositions, great use of lighting, and your post-processing in Photoshop is just super killer. I love this so much and I hope to see more of your work. All right, we're about halfway through the list at number five. All right, this next one is from D. DJ Behar, who creates this awesome looking moving apartment complex. It looks super dope. I love the way that you have this composited in all these scenes and how you also show us a little brief breakdown to the process, which involved you taking photos of an actual building and then remodeling it in Blender, as well as a plugin called Mesh Generator to put together this scene that looks like came out of a modern version of Howl's Moving Castle, except probably called Howl's Moving Apartment Complex. <laughs> Anyways, I love your work a lot, DJ Behar, and I I hope to see more. Here we have at number four. 
So here we have one of the dopest blender techniques and blender creators that I have seen so far. This one is a 3D visualization of Reddit Place. If you guys don't know what Reddit Place is, it is a subreddit in which users can interact with the banner of it by inputting their own pixel and colors. And over time, people have created some amazing different artworks ranging from this Star Wars zoom in to a whole bunch of other super cool things. Not only that, but it's always continuously getting generated. So the Reddit Place 22 subreddit it just went ham this year and it was amazing but user Chris Cross Cash also known as Christopher K took this to another level by creating a Python script and using Blender to import all of that Reddit place data set then reformat and trim it as well as generate heat maps for Blender and then render this awesome animation out so that's exactly what you're seeing right now I just love the way that this came out and not only that but this creator went ahead and actually gave us the source code and the project file so you guys can go ahead and mess around with this on your own and just see how this even works if you're curious okay things are heating up we're down to the final three at number three on the list yo okay so this one is from blender resi who completely kills it when it comes to making a recreated mandalorian scene all within blender that's right this was modeled animated and rendered inside of blender i'm just mind blown that these results look like they could have came from the tv show itself not only that but i had to show you guys something else that blender resi has created which is this full Fully procedural knitting using geometry nodes. It's just mind blowing how impressive you can push geometry nodes, creating all sorts of crazy animations and models. Next, we have at number two. Here we have a few from Wenico 4D, who creates these amazing models and animations and renders all using Blender. I'm mind blown by the way that Wenico 4D is able to make these spaceship interstellar models and then go ahead and animate them into these amazing looking scenes. The camera work work on this is impressive, the different various techniques used into creating this, and one of my favorites, this drone war scene, is just so, so impressive, and honestly, I can look at your work for days and always feel inspired. What's super wild is Wenico 40 is a mechanical engineering student in Tokyo, Japan, yet manages to create some of the most amazing looking blender renders I've seen. So if you guys are ever looking for more inspiration and thinking, hey, Hollywood style VFX can't be done using this software, think again because Wenico 4D definitely pushes those boundaries by coming up with these amazing models and then going ahead and animating and rendering them all out and creating these amazing worlds together. I love your work a lot, Wenico 4D, and I hope to see more. And the one you guys have been waiting for, the ultimate most impressive work from 2022 at number one. Here we have one from CGI Checklist who brings us this amazing action short film with this photorealistic renders, all thanks to some really impressive lighting techniques and this amazing handheld camera work. I really appreciate that CGI checklist even included a breakdown so we can kind of see a little bit of the magic behind how this was made. Using a combination of Mixamo for motion capture data, After Effects for those finishing touches and compositing VFX, and then even using Embergen for that fire and smoke simulations when that helicopter crashes into the mountain. All of this combined together to make a super impressive work. If you guys are curious about using After Effects, we have a bunch of tutorials on on the channel but I definitely recommend you check out this one because it's gonna break down how you can go about making similar fire VFX or even gunshots in After Effects. Also if you're interested in fire simulations using Embergen we covered that one about a year ago back when it was brand new and guess what the software still holds up because it creates some of the most impressive smoke and fire simulations that I've seen to date. Go ahead check those videos out if you're interested. Huge props to CGI Checklist for coming out with this amazing short film. So those creators were pushing Blender to its absolute limits, but there are so many other creators we just did not get to fit into this video. So make sure you guys go ahead, check out this video if you wanna see more awesome techniques from awesome creators using Blender, or let the YouTube algorithm recommend you something from our channel. Up to you guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.